These are the top 5 most famous chess puzzles that has ever been made. So let's start the video. So in number 5 we have a little chess magic by the gentleman on the left Bodo Fawn Den. And I believe majority of you have seen this puzzle because it is quite famous. Now let's start the solution. Now here it is no good to bring a8 queen here because of the move d3 and now you have no time to play queen to g8 to deliver queen to s7 checkmate because it's stalemate. If black pawn was on d5 then bringing the queen works here because after queen to g8 now black has to play the pawn move and now queen to h7 is a checkmate. So solution of this puzzle is to actually do under promotion by bringing the knight here and after d3 you will not take the c7 pawn here because it will result in stalemate you will play knight to b6. So after takes and c7 the same scenario is going to come after b4 here so we will bring again the knight here and this cycle will keeps on repeating till the final pawn promotion. So now promoting it to queen is good but just promoting it to knight is a checkmate. And now let's jump to number 4. And this puzzle is actually one of my favorites made by A. Kramer and it is known as white king side pockets. And here white is actually playing for the draw here so you guys can also give it a shot so it's white to move. So now I am providing the solution. Now here as you can see you can't stop the black pawn here. And we will make the forcing moves which black has to deal with and it will start with king to f6. I will tell you why king to g6 is losing and king to f6 is a draw. So now black is forced to play g4 here and now king to g6. So this puzzle is all about not losing a crucial tempo. So here if king to g8 or g3 doesn't matter we will play h7. So now black king has no moves here and he is forced to play g2 here and here we will play king to s6 hiding between our pawns. And if he brings queen or rook doesn't matter because it will be a stalemate. Now let's see why king to g6 loses. After king to g6 this variation is not going to work because you are losing a one crucial tempo and you got yourself in zoog zong and you just got exposed. Now let's jump to very tricky number 3 puzzle. This puzzle was made by D. Joseph and this masterpiece is called a tricky queen triangulation. It's white to move so you guys can give it a try. If you guys are still with me, help us reach 1k subscriber which is our goal. Now here you must bring h8 queen here because black is threatening a1 queen. But here black surprises white and brings a1 queen because if you take the queen it's stalemate. And now you will see the most insane queen strangulation you have ever seen and it starts with queen to g8. And believe it or not it is the only winning move. Here black has many checks here but black has to be tricky so he plays queen to a2. And now again the only winning move, queen to e8. FN of this puzzle is in description so you guys can check it in analyzing board. And here after queen to a4 the insane triangulation, queen to e5 check and queen to h8. And now if black gives any check king will just step up and it will be a checkmate. So here engine move is going to a1 but it still leads to a checkmate. Now in the number 2 we have a very unnatural puzzle the clever king walk. This puzzle was made by father of hypermodern system Richard Ratty. Looks like black is going to promote the pawn and sack the bishop for the pawn here. But believe it or not it is a draw. So puzzle starts after playing the very unnatural king move king to e7 blocking its own pawn. But our idea is to gain the crucial tempo back by covering the b5 square. So after g5 king to d6 and after g4 e7 so forcing bishop to b5 and now king to c5. So now you can play either king move to defend the bishop or move the bishop. Either way you just want the tempo back and it is going to be a draw soon. So after bishop to d7 the white king will come closer to the black pawn and then he will sacrifice his own pawn to force a draw. Now finally in the number 1 we have a puzzle which engine failed to solve and it was solved by the magician from Riga Mikhail Tal. Now let's see what magician of Riga Mikhail Tal provided the solution in this puzzle. So here Mikhail Tal played the brilliant knight to f6 check. Now you can't move the king to the back rank because d8 queen will come with a check. And going to g6 loses to bishop to h5 check and promotion on the way. 
So only good squad is to go to g7. But now again brilliant knight to h5 check. Now if you go back to h7 bishop to c2 leads to a checkmate. And if you move it to f7, you just took the square of the knight and the promotion is free. So again, only good move in this position is to play king to g6, but now the brilliant bishop to c2 check and you're almost forced to take the knight here. And now you will play the mind-blowing d8 queen and yes, you're giving up your queen here, but after king to f5, black king is boxed here and just one check away from getting checkmated. Now we will look at the struggle of a bishop to deliver a checkmate. So here bishop to d1 is checkmate, so e2 stopping it. So bishop goes to e4 to threaten f3 checkmate, but black brought the knight and covers the f3 square. Now playing bishop to d5, so aiming at the e2 square, but black again brought the knight and blocked the square. But the tall bishop is not giving up and playing bishop to b5, so aiming at the e8 checkmate, but now it is again blocked by the knight here. And now the last nail in the coffin, bishop to a4 and now you can just delay it and checkmate is unavoidable. So that's how magicians solve the chess puzzles. And if you guys enjoyed the video in any way, do like the video and subscribe the channel so we can reach 1k subscribers. So have a good health and see you soon all.